Hi everyone, today we have partnered up with LG to create three amazing holiday recipes for you guys. We're gonna play a game of culinary telephone. I'm gonna start the recipe, leave clues for Jen, who's gonna leave clues for Alejandro, and hopefully we end up in the right place. This is Recipe Relay, let's begin. All right, folks, today we're gonna make sausage and sage stuffing. Now, this is some extremely soft butter. For me, browning meat is like the most important thing. And that means high, high heat, ultra high heat. So get that pan hot. All right, we have a hot pan. We can come in with a little bit of oil. Sausage meat, here we go. Now, don't futz with it too much, but do get wide surface area. All right, let's preheat our oven. I don't know about you, but my kitchen takes a beating during the holiday times, and the easy clean feature in this oven turns something that normally takes hours into a 10 minute process. All right, trying to, trying to get some color on here, which equals flavor, trying to render the fat out, that's what makes stuffing really, really great. If you're not a pork eater, and you find yourself using a lean meat, just make sure you add butter or another type of oil so that you get that fat content up Otherwise, you're gonna have a dry stuffing. My work here is done. Oh, baby. This is gonna be a good place to mix. Get that started for Jen. I think she'll get the idea. Got a little white wine. Smells good. Some sage, the star of the dish, definitely and celery and onions. I don't see how this could possibly go off the rails, honestly. I mean, we've got the buttered pan, we've got the sausage and the bread, we've got the accouchement, and the oven is preheated. So, all we have to do now is, uh, is tag out. Jen, 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 Jen. Hey, oh, hey. There she is. Boom, 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 boom. Uh. Okay, listen, you're all set up here. Some bread. It smells good. I, I really don't even just wanna, I don't wanna give it away. Okay. I just wanna let you do it. Okay, okay? I got it. I got this. You got it. This looks like stuffing. There's some bread. Let's get stuffed. All right, pan here. So I'm gonna turn on the heat. And there's some onion, celery. Wine, Frankie knows me. Some sage, yes. Okay, I think these guys need some butter. All right, onions, go in. Now, Celery. Yes. I think Frankie would do this. He'd go like this and he'd go. Brrr. Think all of this. I love sage. I'm just gonna let this cook until the onions get a little translucent. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the wine. Think all of it. So now I'm just waiting for the liquid to evaporate. All that flavor is gonna get condensed in there. That's looking good. I hope that's what Frankie wanted me to do with the wine. I mean, I could have drank it all, but it's much better here. Yeah. There it goes. Look at this bowl. That looks good. I'm gonna flip it in here. Yeah. All right, I think my job here is done. And I'm gonna grab some more ingredients as clues for Alejandro. Cheese. All right. Alejandro, come on in. Jen. <laughs> Smelling good? Yes. It smells like uh, a forest. Ooh. All right, you're on the right track then. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. <laughs> I think this is pretty self explanatory. I just have to add everything in here, put it in here, and then put it in here. I will whisk these eggs and this broth. Let's get to it. Whisk away this. So I think it's just about adding all these together, mixing them in. Oh. 
Wonderful. Cheese. Let's add, I wonder if they wanted me to add all of this cheese. Of course. Boom. I think this cheese I should add at the end after I bake this, because that way maybe I can get a, a nice crisp cheese finish at the end of the dish. So, almost ready here. Let's just add this other binding agent. Half and half. Let me see, so my oven is on. I have this buttered casserole. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it. Great. I can only guess. All I have to do now is bake this for a little bit, covered. I'll broil it on top, and then I'll get that nice, crisp cheesiness. Delicious. So we're ready to put some aluminum foil on top of this. It's going in. Now it's just a waiting game. There we go. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, baby. That looks amazing. I'm just gonna add a little more cheese. Okay, I think that's good enough. Well, might as well, right? So now I'm gonna put this in broil. Boom. And let's get that amazingly crisp finish. Well, I think we're pretty much done with this recipe. Now let me call in my friends and see if I finished what they started. Frankie, Jen. Hello, hello, how are you guys? Good. Wonderful. How'd you finish up? Yeah. Um, I think wonderfully, but you tell me. Oh, baby. Let's pull that out. Oh. I love it. Oh, man. <sighs> what is that herb I smelled there? Sage. There you go. That's the forest. Forest. Ah, he said it smelled like the forest? Yeah. Come on. You, you did too? That's why I put sage. We should all have a little forest. Let's do it. Great job, guys. Mm. Smells wonderful. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Guys, great job. Stuffing, for me, it's like one of the centerpieces in the holiday. Mm -hmm. And I know we made a little bit of a mess, but I'm an extremely nice host, and don't worry, I'll clean the oven. You guys can, you guys can go. It's okay. Oh my, yes, really? really? Oh, please. It's my pleasure. What? Thank you. This is the holiday. It's really as simple as just spraying down the oven with water, setting it to easy clean, waiting 10 minutes, and wiping it down. It's as easy as pie, or in this case, stuffing.